Hi everyone, Emma here. <laughs> Take a look at my desk. This isn't how it usually looks. I have some stuff here to show you. So I'm going to review a few items. Um, two of the items I got on Amazon and um, the other one I got on AliExpress. So let's start with the Amazon stuff. So I ordered these test tubes and I'll show you why I ordered them. Here, let me take this one out here. So. I think we need some more light. This is an unusual way for me to do this with my camera at this angle, so bear with me. Let me see if I can get that. I get some light on the subject. Yeah, that's better. So, um, this is huge. <laughs> and I, I knew it was going to be big, so I checked the measurements. But, you know, it's so weird. When you have your beads in a little bag or, you know, in a smaller uh, bead container, thinking how much is going to actually fit in this is is kind of weird so that took me a while to figure out and the reason that's important is because i wanted to use these containers for stuff i have a lot of that i want to see so that i know okay i have these i need to use these and um so i like the clear container and i love the screw top it's so much easier on my hand than trying to pull off a rubber stopper so that is amazing now these are kind of expensive when you think of it for bead storage so like normally what I do is I calculate how much I spend on a container and I incorporate that into the price of the beads because in essence it's you know it's holding the beads so that costs right anyway I, I that's really nitpicky but so these were 25 of these tubes uh for 25 dollars so they were basically a dollar a tube that, that to me is a lot of money um i guess i could have maybe did a little more research and and found them cheaper i think i was doing some shopping and wasn't really paying attention imagine that <laughs> so they they're amazing so this is the other thing I have to tell you about these is of course I have stuff that I use in different ways so I have these things here and often I will put bead tubes in them so let me show you I'll grab a few here sometimes I put the short bead tubes and sometimes I put the taller ones and you can fit a few. I think you should, I think, yeah, I guess these are big, um, wide, so you can only fit two in there. But the smaller tubes, you can usually fit three in there. And um, so, anyway, I got these. Funny enough, I got them at um, the thrift store, and it was like a bag full of them. I think there's probably 12 of them that I got. And um, it was like two or three dollars. And I kept thinking, where, what are these used for? Like I was trying to figure out. And then I saw them at the dollar store. It's meant for your makeup on your counter or your dresser or whatever. So like your makeup brushes, your lipstick, your, you know, whatever, mascara and stuff like that. So that's what it's meant for. But it, it fits perfectly with these like that because that was the other thing because these are they're called test tubes they're round at the bottom and the idea I got for this was these guys here that I had now these ones are flat I got these at Michael's and they were in the baking section they had um, like uh, the candy confetti stuff that you decorate your muffins with and uh, so when I use that up I just save these and 
used it for making bead mixes. So, um, so that's what gave me the idea of, you know, maybe if I had a bigger container and the idea of it being tall too, you can see everything. And because this is staggered, so you can kind of see, um, you know, I don't know any other way that you could see all your beads at once. You guys know what I'm talking about. I want to see my pretties. <laughs> so let me put those aside and put that back where I took it from. Because I'll be like, where's that container of beads? So that was that those items there. So let me kind of get those out of the way. And then we're going to set up the mat. Because this I want you to see close up here. So if you're in the U.S., you could probably get that cheaper, those items. And um, uh, there's another one coming up on Amazon. Because the, the price I'm giving you is Canadian, and it was free shipping. So I rarely pay shipping on Amazon. So let's see what I got going on here. Okay, so these guys I got... And I know that uh, Orchid and Opal has her um, storage of beads in these kind of like tic-tac containers. And um, I I wasn't really keen on it when I saw her, um, you know, uh, organizing video. I don't know why. I have like the weirdest kind of things like I'll see something I'm like oh I, I really don't like that and then like three months later I'm like check this out it's amazing like, I need help so I got these on um, Amazon as well and these were a hundred of them for $33 Canadian free shipping I like them so much they like there's like maybe 10 left that's not full and I've ordered two more sets so 200 of these guys I just love them so much they're you know what's great is so first of all they come all like neatly organized in bags and then um, the caps are on it so normally when I get uh, tube uh, bead tubes the caps aren't on it uh, not a big deal but I know that some of the refu reviews complained that it was hard to get these caps off. So you could get your nail in there and pop it off. It comes off pretty easy. The odd one's tight. But I even just gently kind of pulled it from the tab. But you do have to be careful. I broke one of the tabs off. Um, and that was in the reviews as well, that the tabs break off and then they're useless, right? Once that happens, I just put a piece of tape <laughs> and closed it. <laughs> like once it's not like if I was traveling with it, maybe I'd be worried that it would come apart, but it's sitting on my desk. It's not going anywhere. And then when I go to use it, if I flip it up and realize there's tape, I'm going to be careful. So anyway, that's. I'm just yammering now. So that was my other great deal that I really uh, enjoyed. So I am going to show you. I ordered some beads from a seller. It's called the Boutique Bead Store. And I'll add the link. I, um, I look on AliExpress for good deals on seed beads that aren't necessarily um, check glass beads or Toho's or Delica's. And I try and get like all the colors and do a review of the beads. So I'm just looking at this. I thought there was two of each of these, but I guess not. I think it's because some of the colors are so close together. So this is the colors that they have. These are a dollar, I think I wrote it on here, dollar 17 Canadian. And it's a 10 gram bag. They are two millimeter. So they don't give you what, like, 
how we say an 11 -0. Um, they say two millimeter. Now I'm assuming just by looking at them that they are a two or a 11 0. But I'll tell you, I did some work from a design that involved another bead that was a specific size and it was a lot smaller. So I think these might be 10 0s. So I, um, I think the next step I did, I have some samples to show you of what I made with it to, to give you an idea of what they look like. But um, I think the best way, and I thought of this before I started, the best way is to do peyote. Because then you can measure a length and then count how many beads it takes to do that length. So I may do that and just do an update of this video. But in the meantime, look at these colors. They're so beautiful. Here's the other thing too. I should grab my scale because when I order beads like this, they're always over the 10 gram. So just hang on a sec, I'm gonna grab my scale. Sorry, my scale is in my other office. <laughs> So I'm going to measure it with the bag. The bag, I've, I've done this enough times, the bag doesn't weigh anything. So it says zero grams. Yeah. Okay. It came out to 10. Let's try another trick. So in other, um, like, bead reviews that I've done, I've, uh, some have like some colors have more than the other so here's a way that you can do this you put the container that you're have your stuff in put it on the scale it's five grams and there's a zero button here let me see if i can move this without there five grams so you just zero so now when I take this off, it's going to go, should go to five. And then you take what you have. So 10. So they're all 10. There we go. So, I mean, it's good to measure because, um, you know, there's some sellers out there that are kind of, <laughs> what's the word? Skeezy. <laughs> That's an old word. <laughs> So, yeah, I I would check. But you know what? Here's the thing with this stuff. The reviews are really good. And then, you know, what my experience has been, I don't, uh, I've stopped weighing stuff. But I thought I'd show you just so you know. So they have all these really cool colors. And again, these are, these, like, they look like fun summery colors they're transparent colors so let's take a look at one of the pinks this is the lighter pink look at that they're amazing oh and here's the thing here's the big thing with me is they have to be uniform and these guys are i found maybe the odd one that I thought was maybe a bit misshapen, but it was no more than a regular Toho or whatever, you know, name brand bead that you order. So, yeah, and even it wasn't enough not to use it. So, like, if you look at this one, it looks a bit narrow compared to the one next to it. It's a bit chubby, but they are really, really uniform. They are so beautiful. Let me see if I can get this back in. <laughs> Gee, I never thought of that. Okay, I don't like, like these bead containers anymore. I can't get my beads back in. <laughs> to, I have to say, um, I apologize. I haven't been around much. I have a big week this week with doctor's appointments. I had one today um, for some 
skin lesions to detect whether it was cancer or not. So uh, nothing much came of it except that uh, she wants to see me again in four months to take a look to see if there's any changes. But So yeah, there's that. And then on Thursday I have my um, results from the surgery biopsy. So... I'm a bit stressed out, so I'm, I have a bunch of stuff to show you in videos, like, to make. I have everything prepared to do videos on different bracelet designs, but um, I'm just not with it, so I just, I don't feel, I don't like doing videos if I'm not cheery and and I know you guys are great. You're like, oh, no, don't worry about it. And actually, you know what? Sometimes, like, I'm doing this video. I really didn't feel like it. I was tired and it was a long day. And I was like, no, you know what? Doing this makes me feel good. So, so this is the orange. Isn't that awesome? The, the one thing I did find in working, and I'll show you the pieces I worked on, is that um, when you take the beads on their own, they're very pale in the color. So you see how that one looks really pale. But when you put them together, they feed off of the color of the beads next to it. You get a deeper, deeper color. So saw it. Put this one in. I So here's the thing. This is how they come in this container. That's why I kept one in this uh, bag and these are great you know what I normally keep them in these bags because they I put them in like I have a little tray these little like uh, meal trays you can get them at uh, Walmart or um, you can probably get them at Walmart I get them at the dollar store it says microwavable on it they come with a lid I never use the lids but you take them and you put them in and you like stack them in so then you have this on your shelf you're looking for a color you just flip through so normally that's what i do but i was so excited <laughs> about these containers i'm like no i'm gonna fill up the container so let's see if i can get this in there without making a mess My kitty cat's upset. I kicked him out of my office. <laughs> so he has a routine now. He comes into my office. He gets on his little shelf right over here. I had to put a bead mat down for him. And he sits there and then he waits for me to like wave beads in front of him so he can whack them. And that's what he does. <laughs> so I wasn't doing that. So he crawled onto my, my desk. I'm like, uh, no. This one is really gorgeous. Look at that purple. Unbelievable. These are so lovely. I'm getting better at that. Then there's this color here. These just, I love these blue colors. Look at that. That is so pretty. I like these so much. I think I'm going to order another set. I am. Um, so 10 grams. I wonder. I, I really should do a peyote bracelet. Because then I'll have an idea how much. It takes to make one because usually I do peyote bracelets with beads that I have a lot of but I noticed when I was so I worked with this color and if you see the difference in what's left I just wonder if there's not enough in 10 grams to make something substantial but we'll see so this is the other one, and I'll show you what I made with this one. This is one of my favorite colors, too. It's like a seafoam green. 
Now it's really faint. I, I wish it was a little darker, but it's still gorgeous. So this is what I made with this. This is an earring and I should have grabbed the ear wire. I have them at the bottom of my stack, so I apologize. So the ear wire would go here. But look at this. This is one of those saucer beads that I got from Raven's Journey. And this is a design by Sunny Sree. It's probably one of my favorite designs for earrings that she does. It's a bit wonky. In some parts like I find that the top is a little bit difficult to follow so I did a video of following her video making these but you know what that was probably a good six months ago and I'll tell you it was a lot easier doing this although I did get kind of messed up at the beginning again so but there you can see how gorgeous that those colors are That's that. And I'll show you these guys. So this is a darker blue. And look at that. <laughs> They're so amazing. Uh, oh, I have it so bad. I get so excited. I'm like, ooh. I have been organizing and sorting stuff in my office. And... <laughs> Half the time I spend on my mat going like this with my beads, going, oh, this is nice. Let's get to work. So, is that the color? No, that's a different color. Let me pull out the color that I used for this and get rid of the thread. So, this is what I made, and that's that color there. So, here... This is another Sunny Sri design, and it's for a bracelet. So you you make a bunch of these, and you, they're attached. You have a pearl in the middle. So she asks for 11 OC beads, and I think she gives you a variation. You can take 11 O or 10 Os, um, and then she asks for a 10 millimeter pearl, and you can see this did not fit. It's way too big. So at least an eight, if not a six. So this is, you know, how I did it. And of course, once I did it, I realized, okay, this is, I probably should have stopped right there. And because you, yeah, you have the option to switch the bead when you realize it's not fitting. But yeah, I didn't know why I continued. <laughs> anyway, so that's. So it looks really nice. These, like I said, these beads are really amazing. I'm really, really impressed. So I think, again, the challenge would be to do it in peyote because you will see if the beads are equal in size and shape so that they sit side by side without a lot of gaps. Um, now, sometimes when you use round beads, you're not going to have the same as if you used a Delica or a Toho for uh, peyote, so it might not really be a definitive thing. But I'll definitely try it out. I um, That turned out pretty good. So there's that. Then there's the pink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good? Oh, I just want to eat it. These are so, so nice. I'm, I was so excited when I saw them. And you know what? Because I ordered all the colors, I found, and I've heard that in other reviews of these different shops where you're buying multiple colors, they'll, it actually says underneath, um, Underneath the price, it'll say 
um, orders over and it'll have like $12 or something like that. Um, estimated arrival and it like right now they're, they're saying July 12th or something like that. So normally this stuff takes two to three months to come. Um, this came in less than two weeks. So look at this salmon. <laughs> I would just love a whole like bath full of these. I know crazy talk. It's crazy talk. Look, <laughs> okay. It's not crazy talk. Uh, you could see when they're all together, the deep color, and then it starts to get really light. But you know what? That's part of the appeal of these. They look like little bubbles. So they are gorgeous. I was searching and searching for a design, like a summery design seed bracelet to make to really show these off and I couldn't couldn't find anything and I thought no I'm gonna just go ahead and do some stuff so here's the yellow again looks really super bright and you can see these containers are working really well look at that <laughs> they are yummy I should try and do maybe some daisy chain I've never tried it, but I'm really, like, I find them so cute that I should. This would be good to make some flowers with. And then there's a light. So you've got these. Let's uh, try and match the colors a bit. So it could go like that. So this one here. This, oh, the pale. Yeah, just leave that. Look at that, like a pale turquoise. Just gorgeous. Let's get these guys in there. So you've got some nice variations. If you wanted to do an ombre on a peyote, that would work. And then you've got these pinks. And then these guys kind of let's change it this way. And then we have a dark pink. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to see if I can, there we go, that is lovely. Okay, and then white, or transparent, that is. These are so nice. Wow. Super. So that is these lovely beads. So definitely check them out. Ta-da. That's just the beginning of my <laughs> shopping. Get ready for it. Bead a holly or um, Art Beads had a dollar bead sale, so I bought, placed an order with them, and then um, I'm getting ready to do a bunch of leather bracelets. So I ordered some more leather, some thicker leather. So that's coming in, and I have a ton of bracelets to show you. So stay tuned. There's another video coming in after this showing you some of the bracelets that I've made and uh, a preview of one of the tutorials that's coming up. So thanks for joining me and I'll put the post I'll put the link to this seller. And uh, yeah, take care everybody and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.